It all started in a faraway land called Menifee, California, by the brilliant mind of a man named William O. Sloan. Some called him Bill, most called him crazy. I, of course, called him Papa. But hummingbirds, you see, well, they called him a hero. The first man to ever successfully read the mind of a hummingbird. <laughs> this is how it all happened. One day, my Papa was sitting in his yard, enjoying the company of his hummingbird friends, when he noticed one hummingbird in particular retreat to a nearby tree after feeding. He watched that hummingbird repeat this all day long, going from the tree to the feeder and back to the tree again. Hmm. As he was sitting there, pondering the meaning of life, which he figured out, by the way, but that's a whole other story, it occurred to him, why should my hummingbirds have to perch on trees and fence posts when they can better spend their time on a swing? I know it's hard to believe, but it creates the ideal perching spot for your hummingbirds to keep watch and still stay close to their food source. Hummingbirds are continuously hours away from starving to death and are only able to store enough energy to survive overnight. That's why they're so territorial. They spend 10 to 15% of their day eating and the remainder is spent resting and digesting that food. Your swing will give you more time to see your hummingbirds up close and personal. You can get some great photos or video shots. See how close you can get. Not only do hummingbirds love the swing, other songbirds love them too. Like us on Facebook and submit your photos online. We love to see your pictures, and you can even win some prizes. We have a photo contest each year. The next photo can be yours. 